Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can perform a Cochrane Q test using Python 3 and this is in Jupyter Lab. Now this test can be used if you had people uh, choose uh, between more than one option or they could choose more than one option. Uh, so for example which of the following music genres do you like so they can choose more than one. Um, then usually each option becomes a no yes variable in itself uh, so a binary variable and then you might want to know if any of the options was chosen significantly more often than any of the others uh, or any yeah and then uh, that can be done with a Cochrane's Q test so it's similar as a Pearson chi-square test by squaring the differences between the observed and expected proportions but then it divides it by the sum of the number of successes multiplied by the number of failures for each case now don't worry there's a package that can do this for you so let's have a look at what that looks like so uh, first I need some example data which is going to be a CSV file so I need to load that in um, I want to load it as a pandas data frame so I need pandas I'll abbreviate that to pd if you've never used the package before you can often use exclamation sign and then pip install and then the name of the package I've already installed it so I only need to import it then I can use the read CSV file from pandas now I can abbreviate to PD and head will show me the first five records for this example I need these last um, what is it one two three four columns and these are uh, cinemas in uh, Amsterdam uh, this is not real data it was just fabricated just for the example um, and those are the only ones I need and zero indicated that somebody would have uh, visited that cinema and a w uh, sorry a one would have indicated that they visited that cinema and a zero that they didn't so let's first combine those into their own little data frame so that we don't have all the other options anymore and then the Cochrane's Q test can actually be performed by importing the stats models stats contingency tables and then import the Cochrane's Q test to see the results, uh, what I can simply do is uh, feed it the selected data and print the results. Now in this example, as you can see, I get a statistic of 19.38 and it has a significance of around 0 0.0002276, etc. So this indicates there's a very small chance, uh, it's usually uh, below 0.05 would be considered low to obtain such a Q value or even higher if the population there would be no differences so this is so low below 0.05 usually so that we would claim that there are some significant differences and that's kind of it um, if you're interested in the appendix I'll go over the formulas um, I'll leave a link to my website where you can download this uh, Jupyter notebook um, as well for free um, so a quick look here um, I first convert everything to lists then I need the number of cases that I have and the number of variables that I used then I need to uh, determine the column total so I'm just gonna sum uh, everything and row by row or uh, sorry column by column um, then we can also sum all of those again to get the uh, grand total and in this case that's 244 the sum of squares of these uh, which is each column total minus the 244 over the number of categories and that difference squared so we can do that here that gives us 672 then we can determine the standard error uh, that's actually using an R1 what well, that is the row sum so we also need the row sums and then we can immediately just keep on adding up those so that's being done in this segment and then finally the test result is this formula for which I have everything and then I finally get the same result as I saw earlier the degrees of freedom is the number of uh, variables that you're using minus one in for this test so in this case that's three and then I do need a package for uh, converting that uh, Q value which is approximately a chi-square distribution with degrees of freedom 2 so I need a chi-square distribution that's where I'm using side by stats and then I can get the same uh, final p-value 
Okay, I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching.